images derived either from lunar or family life. For the lunar life, they use the image of the shepherd to represent the Lord, and that of the flock to represent the people. Among the sets of images taken from the family life were those of husband and wife, the Lord being the husband and Israel the wife. And the father and, and of father and child, the Lord being the loving father and Israel the child. The prophets made use of these images to emphasize good tender, God's tender and faithful love for Israel, as well as Israel's failure to respond to his love. The past, this passage is an allegory on the relationship between God and the people of Israel. In the style of Balad, the prophet emphasized a great care for the Lord for Israel, B, the disappointing performance of the people, and C, the just punishment which the Lord installed for, the mis for a misbehavior. Chapter 5, verse 1 to 7. Let me now sing, sing of my friend, my friend's song concerning his vineyard. My friend had a vineyard on a fertile hillside. He spaded it, cleared it of stone, and planted the choicest vines. Within, within it, he built a watchtower and hewed out of wine press. Then he looked for the crop of grapes. What he chilled this was wild grapes. Now, the inhabitants of, of Jerusalem and the people of Judah judged between me and my vineyard. What more was there to do for my vineyard that I had not done? Why, when I look at the crop of grapes, did it bring forth wild grapes? Now, I, now I, will, I will let you know what I mean to do with my vineyard. Take away its hedge, I command the clouds, and let the sun rain upon it. The vineyard, of, the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel. The people of Judah are his cherished plan. He looked for judgment, but see bloodshed. For justice, but heart the outcry. The, the word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks God. God. Yeah. Wait, why yeah. do they choose the readings? Let's, 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 let's uh, run. How do they choose the second reading? There were only 129 readings for the year. And then the following year, the same 129 readings for the same time. And the readings were always taken mostly from the Gospel of John. And then there were only three readings from the Old Testament. That's for the entire year. Huh? Then, after the liturgical reforms of Vatican II, the Lord was ordered. In expanding readings, uh, instead of no, 130, it expanded them 500, 529, which included, included uh, 100 or so readings for the Old Testament. That was different readings for the solemnities and the And not only that, not only that, the, 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 the readings na yan, the readings na yan, in-apply nila para sa liturgical cycle. Year A, year B, tapos year C, tapos year, year 1 and 2. And it was standardized, standardized for ordinary time. The readings for Sundays and ordinary time will be taken from the Gospel of Matthew. But, and if you know what was the Old Testament, the readings that point to the Gospel, there's always a typical, typological arrangement between in the, in the readings, so between the Old Testament and the New Testament. So you can see the plan. You, you, you just study it, you recognize the Old Testament in the Gospel. And then also the, the Gospel, you will see it hidden in the Old Testament. So the thing, as I the Gospel said, the, the Old Testament is revealed in the New, and the New Testament is hidden in the New. So it's all connected. It's all connected. So if you go to Mass daily, uh, three consecutive years, 
cycles of the performance. We shall have covered pretty much the entire life uh, all of salvation history in the decade. My name is Vineyard. My friend had a vineyard on the Virgil Hillside. He spaded it, cleared it of stones. You see now the the language is agrarian, no? It's about planting. He had the vineyard, the hillside was fertile, he cleared it of stones. He was a cow. 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 He was a and he planted the choices, choices, choices vines. So he chose the good, uh, uh, would be the good, uh, the good species for the, the healthy ones, the healthy, the healthy seedlings for planting the, for the salt in the vineyard. So after getting the choi choices vines, he built the watchtower. Watch towers for looking out for marauders or thieves. See what the produce. And he used up a a wine press. A wine press. You notice he used up a wine press. Oh, there is a wine press though, he didn't have a it's more of a Spokes ng gilingan, usually it's a hardwood with gears. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Niya sa, yeah. You find that now in curious shops or in, in yeah. so, uh, antique, antique stores. Ginagamit ng pang decoration niya, but it could be used as a co coffee table footing uh, uh, or a uh, <coughs> side table para lagyan ng mga ornaments. It's now or something ornamental, but in the olden days that was used because that was where you the the full from so the, the animal would rotate around the the wine press or whatever where the grain press and then the stone would crush the the, the the grain underneath in order to make it into what into paste in order to make it into Okay, then he looked for the, the crop of grapes, but what, what, was, what it yielded was wild grapes. Why does this happen? The soil is working. Okay? He built a watchtower so that it could be looked after. And then uh, he put he put uh, cho the choices vines, and yet they produce wild grapes. And if you said the wild grapes, wild people, wild people, wild wild grapes would be undesirable in the sense that it's overgrown with weeds, it's overgrown with brambles. So, again, wild, nakabayaan yung plantation. The plantation was left alone. Usually, if you have a farm, if you have a farm, you plant something. So you prepare everything, and then you let it go, you don't tend it, you don't uh, fertilize the soil, you don't uh, cultivate the soil, you don't water the, the crops, you just abayaan lang to the elements, then it's going to grow wild. Now, inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah, judge between me and the vineyard. So what is the prophet saying here? He is addressing the people as the 
the vines in the vineyard. Or yung mga gun, yung mga sila yung crops doon. What more was there to do for my vineyard that I have not done? The, the vineyard owner took time to prepare the planting. He took, uh, care, he took care to, to, to choose the, the planting material and then he made a lot of preparation. He even prepared the wine press in order to produce good wine from the, from the grapes. It was wine to, and yet, making wine from grapes, making wine grapes would not produce good wine, sour wine. Um, what more was there to do to my opponent finger that I had not done? Why, when I look for the crop of grapes, did it bring forth wild grapes? Yeah. In other words, instead of having a bunch of uh, delicious, uh, yummy grapes, very sparsely by the grapes will be trampled upon by animals. Yes, I will make it a moving. It shall not be pruned or pulled, but overgrown with thorns and briars. I will command the clouds not to send rain upon me. Yeah, no? The vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the whole, is the house of Israel, and the men of Judah are the cherished plant. They look for judgment, but see, bloodshed, for justice, but heart, the outcry. So this is a warning. This is a warning by the prophet Isaiah to the people of Judah to the people of Jerusalem. That they're the vineyard of the Lord. They're in the vineyard of the Lord. Yeah. There are no thorns, there are no brambles, there are no weeds that grow. Remember the parable of the weeds also? So, in you know, we have to remove what is not essential for producing good fruit. What is not essential and what will destroy the crop? What will take away the sustenance on the soil? In a plantation, you remove the weeds. Because the weeds, the weeds also take sustenance from the soil. The nutrients, kinuwa ng weeds in nutrients. So, instead of the nutrients going to the plant and going to the fruit, to the fruit juice, then it's spent on, uh, it's used up by the, by the weeds or the useless elements or the ones that don't produce good crop or the corn. So that's what's going to happen. It's like the Lord telling, uh, it's like the Lord telling, uh, telling the prophet Isaiah, Say this to the people. If they don't attend to the vineyard of the Lord, then what's going to happen? Babayaan sila. In other words, I will let the Lord. I will remove the hedge and let the animals trample it and graze on it. And that's exactly what happened to the kingdom of Judah. The, their enemies, the Babylonians, no? destroyed Jerusalem in the year 587-586 BC. They conquered Jerusalem. They toppled the monarchy. They tore down the, the, the walls. And then they hold the people to captivity. The vineyard of the Lord was trampled upon. Why? Because the Lord wanted it that way? No, because of the infidelity to the people. They were not true to the covenant. Their covenant with the Lord. They fell into idolatry, they fell into sinful ways. And in sinful ways, na yan, those are the ones that are, uh, that, that do not make for, that do not contribute for, the, uh, for good, uh, good produce for the vineyard. But in this parable, the vine dresser is the Lord, and He will prune. Any branch that does not produce yeah, there are bad branches will be cut away. But the bad branches will just produce fruit that's not, not good, uh, substandard. So in a in a plant, in a in, in grapes, that's what you do in grapes, and right? you keep pruning in order to produce a bunch of grapes. And if there are too many branches, pellet yung fruit. 
In fact, the, the most expensive wine in, in France is, comes from the area uh, where you, the small area, you know, they, they produce the best wine from the Chateau, Chateau Petro. Chateau Petro, that's, that's $1,000 plus a bottle. Wow. Gabi Gabi, in the era of the era, when you were president, 50,000 pesos a bottle. Wow. 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 Red wine, not you. Red wine, not you. Red wine, not you. Red Maganda yung kanila yan. Maganda yung produce doon. First of all, the soil is good. The cultivation is well done. Oh, no. no. South AD. The response, response is... The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. You will see now, in the first reading, that uh, the, the song is about uh, uh, a vineyard owner who chose the best vines for planting. He took care to, to uh, cultivate the soil and then all, and he built a watchtower. Meaning, he put everything into, see into it that we, it would produce good. Good, uh, good, good, good. And then what happens? When it become harvest time, there was no good grapes. That's what happened to, this is a, God, this is a, in the last verse here. Verse 7, says, the vineyard of the Lord of course, is the house of Israel, and men of Judah are his cherished land. You look for judgment, but see, judgment for justice the heart, the heart, the heart. Look, the vineyard seems to be around, overrun, by animals, they get grazing land. And if you come, if you're in agriculture, and you have a very fertile land, chances are you're not going to invite over to grazing. Kasi nasisira yung land whenever you graze animals there. Because of the urine, because of the trampling, because of the... That's why those who have a fertile land, and they're going to go into cattle, what they do is, kasi if, if the land is fertile, like then the grass is also and the grass is also nutritious, which is transferred to the growth of the cattle. So what they do in order for the the the, 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 the land not to be destroyed by being overrun by animals, they schedule certain sections for grazing. They scientific way of doing the cattle ranching. Paddocks. One paddock is this area. The cattle will be here for several days to graze until the land, until they more or less exhausted na yung plant, yung grass. And then they move on to the other paddock. And that, that other paddock, uh, paddock usually is, uh, is plowed. Then the grass allowed to grow again. Usually, what is done is they choose the specific type of grass you ready for the cattle. It's the science of, uh, the science of, of uh, cattle raising. The old method was you just clear the land, just give it to the animals, see you know. But you can put more cattle in the land if you do careful grazing. In fact, the volume. Uh, yeah. The rule of the thumb for uh, raising cattle is one, one, cow, one head per one hectare. Oh, oh, yeah, that is for our plan. Let's say so we have 100 heads of cattle, you need a thousand hectares. I need, you need a uh, hundred hectares. You have a thousand, one thousand heads of cattle, you need a thousand hectares. But now, but now you can sustain you can sustain, let's say, 100 heads of cattle on the one hectare. <laughs> cattle carry, you only just produce the land by the one area. You have to harvest every one of the days. That was more of a plan. Hey, you can produce, uh, you can make, you can maximize the use of the land. 
and your cattle don't move about so much. And the land is not... Uh, and there is also in the intercropping you plant yeah, uh, hungry yeah. with coconut. Pero walang so, some, some people do that, no? Pagkatapos ng cattle, since maraming ebak ng cattle, no? they flower it, then they plant vegetables, okay. and then they open another area for the products, for the grazing. Like, no, no, no. Manyot. It's a science. Animal husbandry. Okay, animal husbandry. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. So the vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel now. Putting it in today's, uh, in our time, in, in the context of our time. Tali yung vineyard of the Lord. Right? I call it the church, the vineyard of the Lord. This Bible class is the vineyard of the Lord. Does it produce horns? Or lousy grapes? Yes. Maybe. Yes. Finally, my brothers, your thoughts should be wholly directed to all that is true, all that deserves respect, all that is honest, pure, admirable, decent, virtuous, or worthy of praise. Live according to what you have learned and accepted, what you have heard me say and seen me do. Then will the God of peace be with you. Amen. The words of the Lord. Amen. 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 Practice what you preach. Yun. 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 Straight to the point. Practice what you preach. Practice what you preach. No more explanation is needed. We are like to smile. How many of you shall be fed? Yourself. You give your kindness. Yeah. Uh -huh. Have a comment. Have a comment. Uh, wait, you don't. 
No, no, no. Do you rejoice to the person that you give that endorse that kindness? Or what do you mean by that? As I said, uh, you know, rejoice in the kindness you give to people. What do you mean? Rejoice. Siya lang nakakaalam? Or I don't understand. I mean, again. Malalaman nila yung. Malalaman. Malalaman. You're sure. When you give. Sabi nga, a cheerful giver. Ay, hindi mo naman makikita kung ginanong ko siya. Alam niyo lang yun. 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 Alam niyo lang yun.
children coming down from the bus. The syndicate are entering. Wow. Yeah. 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 Because the, the, the day before, a few days before that, people inside the church has been giving money. So, tuloy tuloy na naman ang pasok nila sa simbahan. Until I warned again the people. Pag na kayo for me, after the time I can go to the people inside the church, please don't give money to the children that are coming to beg. You know, in the Philippines, uh, the estimate is that 400,000 children living in the streets. Wow. <coughs> Filipinas yun. How much? Well, 400. Manila alone, during the visit of Pope John Paul II, this was before our father, uh, father uh, Rocky. Rocky put up his... 1,000. Uh, yeah. okay. Rocky, no, because he was talking, he had a dream. I mean, plan in that to well, put up a boys town. Yeah, but yeah. boys town, yeah, rehabilitation place for, for uh, street children. And during the talk he gave, sabi niya, in Manila alone, sabi niya, there are about 80,000 or more street children begging all day there in Manila. And during the, during the visit of John Paul II, the police rounded them up and put them in one place but I didn't see them. Because also, sometimes they do not want to, like Father Rocky says also, sometimes he gets them but they leave. They leave the policies. They leave because they don't want to leave. 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 Yeah, but they was one in the was at that time, Father Rati was the other part, was the Spanish priest. And there was this guy, to me, parang tulog lagi doon sa kalam mo eh. He had a face for that, plastic cup, and he'd drop coins. So I told Father Rati, Father Rati about it. Because he was still starting with the... 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 I don't give him anything. You know, that boy, we took him in. 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 He has food three times. He eats three times a day. That's my very end of it. And he has soap, he has water. But he prefers to drink. He was here already. He was here already. He was here already. He was here already. Talking about Father Rocky, you know, I am in the house two weeks ago, he partied my husband with a good friend there. And he started talking, he said, the most important, he started talking about how she got to go to Bosco. In the beginning, he used to always talk about small miracles, and I said, I like to listen to him. He didn't push it like small miracles. He always has small miracles. So he sat down, my daughter said, Father Rocky, he said, how are you still doing now? Do you know? I never thought I'd be said that's the journey of life. Because he talked about the journey of life. And I said, why, Father? Before Satinia, I was uh, the head of a school in Antipolo, of Don Bosco. And I am good in, you know, education. And then one time, he said, the priest in Don Bosco Makachi, they had a meeting. And he decided to invite him, being the head of the school there. And during the meeting, they started talking about the street children. About the children. So they said, I think we should do something about forming something to take care of the abandoned children. So who among you could do it? So I didn't realize Sabina, that this hand was out. So Sabina, Father Rocky, this is not your film. You've never been in the street and you no, you don't even at least in the church you belong to the school. This is where she was really. Yeah, something that, but you're right here. Man. I did not have to put it down. And then so, okay, okay. So they went on and on and on. And then finally they asked again at the end. This hand was raised again. So anyway, I don't know something, but I didn't, I didn't raise it.
raised my hand. So anyway, after that, after the meeting, I think they called him the Panda Superior and talked to him to discourage him. Because I did not insist that he did not do it. Anyway, so that they made a letter for him to sign that he did not, he does not going to do it. He does not, he does not volunteer to do it. You know, according to him, F. So the letter was prepared there, he was in his office, he was holding the ball pen, and the ball pen did not move for eight hours. It took me eight hours that I couldn't sign. But finally, he made like that, okay, Lord, okay, journey. I have nothing about, know about this, but if this is my calling, I will do it, but if we cannot find food for the children, you provide. That's how it is. It is 3.5 million. You know, I couldn't move it eight hours. I stood up and went up. That is one thousand plus children. Three million. Three point five million. Three point five million. And the money is coming in. And the arts professional. You know, there was a time. A long, long time ago, my husband was alive. My husband even forgot to give a check for December. We used to really give a check for the children. The brothers was fixing this, and then he saw the check. So we went, he went to Father Rocky. He was a Father Rocky, I'm so sorry. This is a small amount for the children. So it was dated to December 25. So Father Rocky says, yes. one way around yeah. the again. So, yeah. If you gave me last December, that was so rich. Okay. So, Do you know that I was just praying when I get the food tomorrow? So, you know, did these things happen? Okay, I mean, I, does that stress me anymore? Mm -hmm. I see that Father Rocky only two days to go for the food. Okay, Lord, let it come. Father, bye. Yeah. It Every it day, that's his own day. Every 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 day, that's his own day. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, Hear another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a tower. Then he listed the tenants and went on a journey. When vintage time drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to obtain his produce. But the tenants seized the servants, and one they beat, another they killed, and a third they stoned. Again, he sent other servants, more numerous than the first ones, but they treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, thinking, they will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to one another, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him and acquire his inheritance. They seized him, threw, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. What will the owner of the vineyard do to those tenants when he comes? They answered him, We will put those wretched men to a wretched death and lease his vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce of the property. Jesus said to them, Did you never read in the scriptures, The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone by the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. Therefore, I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away even to a people that will produce its fruit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. About the past and the future. The past and the future. Those were the days. No, of course, it's fun. Do you recall the gospel of the Messiah? There is a line owner, a vineyard owner. He chooses the best lines and then he takes care of the soil and he plants the But still, And then there's an injunction there. In the last verse of the so instead of growing good grapes, what was found there were wild grapes. Thirty thousand 
varieties of grapes. All of them. The owner of the... The prophets. The prophets. The prophets. Can you say it again? The prophets. The prophets. Okay, so the Lord said to the prophets. They used to live the people of God. The Lord sent prophets to warn them about their infidelity, to call them back to repentance, to call them back to infidelity and the power of What did they do to the prophets? They persecuted them. Yes. They killed the prophets. And that is what the spiral is all about. The, 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 the owner says, I sent my son, so they will treat my son properly. And that son is? Jesus. 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 This is the air. Come, let us kill him and acquire his inheritance. Is he sent to him out of the vineyard and kill him? What is the inheritance that they want? No, the vineyard. You remember during that time, the church is the fulfillment of the Old Testament. The church is the fulfillment of the, let's say, let's call them the Jews. No? Okay. So, the one, the one's lording it over the the people of the Sanhedrin. Sanhedrin. Uh, rulers. That's why during the time of Christ, uh, whenever he gave power was about the... He called the, the Pharisees, he called the, the scribes uh, the same. Because they, they, they were the ones making the laws and observing the laws and uh, making it, imposing the laws on the people. But the laws that they, they were making, they were adding on to the laws of Moses. So they, they, at that time, they had added 613 additional laws to. The, the law of the Two hundred forty regulations in the and then three hundred and sixty five prohibitions. For instance, uh, example, you you work on the Sabbath. You can only bring your horse several steps to let it drink water. Beyond that is already work. Can you see like a Can you see Mosaic law? Mosaic law. They added to the Mosaic law. They added to the law of Moses. So they had other rules and regulations. Oh, yeah, she was the one. No, the Green was the ruling body for the ruling body. They were composed of 71, uh, 71 uh, members. And this was headed by the high priest, the chief priest. What comprised the Sandy Green were the, the, fans, the priests, the Levites, the the ruling families at the time, the scribes. And within this group, may mga pari, may mga pariseri dan. There were Pharisees there. And also Sadducees. But the difference between the Pharisees and the Sadducees, you know that already, right? Sadducees don't believe in the resurrection. Sadducees don't believe in the resurrection. Yes. Pharisees in the resurrection. The resurrection of the bodies. And the Pharisees. The Pharisees. The Pharisees. The Pharisees. The Pharisees. The Pharisees. They were supposed to to, to crucify. The Jah was to lead to the crucifixion of the Lord. And then again, the Pharisees believe in the resurrection of the body. The Sadducees did not yeah. believe in the resurrection. The Pharisees believe in all the teachings of Moses and uh, the writings and the prophets. The Sadducees believe only in the first five books of the Bible, the writings of Moses. So, yun lang, yun Torah lang, the law is what was so essential to them. But they didn't believe in the resurrection. The Sadducees. The Sadducees. 
Ain't that a place where they that blue? And the one we want to see. It seems to be on the one they were fight on the ground. Cool to you, eh? They are ISIS. The Paris is where composed of the different people. Some of them families. Because the ruling families at that time, they were the ones that were also sat in the in the in the one ruling class. They were the one the ones stipulating, making laws for the people of the land. Ano mayo? Congress. And the families that control the Congress and the Senate. Rule maker, rule. Yes, the gold maker makes the rules. So the the Pharisees and the Sadducees were in the. No, they don't try any. They they not don't really see eye to eye because of the different theologies. But. When it came to Jesus, they were united in putting him to death. In the in the in the New Testament, as a matter of fact, there is a there is a point where Saint Paul is going to is being tried, and then Saint Paul the Pharisees is Saint Paul, right? The Pharisees have turned to turned away from their ways and became a follower of Christ. And Saint Paul said to the to the group, knowing that the group was composed of Pharisees and Sadducees, and they wanted to what we call this, put him in jail to inflict harm on him. And he said, "I'm a Pharisee like you." So he addressed the Pharisees there. So what happened was when the Pharisees found out, Pharisee or the Pharisee is one of us, they started quarreling with the Sadducees. Because it's a problem. Because he looked to parry the the attention away from him. Anyway, so going back to the gospel. So the the, the workers sent by the Lord to the tenants, and who are the tenants? The the people. Yes, especially especially the the ruling class. The ruling class. So my parasyo. The priests, the the ruling classes. When Jesus came in the scene, they did not recognize Jesus as the Messiah because the going was good. Suksi na lahat eh. That's why in chapter thirty-four of Ezekiel, makikita niyo na God says to the man, to the people, to the prophet of Ezekiel, "My shepherd, my shepherd, shepherd themselves." Then he goes on to say, I myself will shepherd my people. I myself, the Lord himself will shepherd his people. And I will I will appoint shepherds after me. You know shepherd? Yeah, you're an apostle. It's the shepherd, Jesus Christ, the good shepherd. At that time, you would, it would, I, could, I could understand also if the people did not believe in Jesus right away. Because I'm having the Indian people pray, everything, and then you know how did how would you have? You know, yeah. Okay, if you like, even Saint Paul, Saint Paul was a good Jew, but he was a party because of sin for his fans, because of sin for his faith. He saw the Christians as a heretical group that had to be punished. It's unpopular. And it uh, took an intervention from God. Yeah, because Jesus God went to him and talked to him. You know, yeah, and made him blind. Yeah. And Jesus did something to him. Yeah. Exactly. But other people, like us, for example, if you were there, yeah. people, if you were chosen to be Saint Paul, how would you have done? What are some of the people here? Everybody is everybody is chosen to be like Saint Paul. Yeah, we are all saints. Analytical about what's being said. 
and uh, people, people should have sympathy is Christ because they knew about the prophecies, they knew about the prophecies of Isaiah that the lame will walk, the blind will be able to see, the deaf will be able to hear, and that is in the, in the miracles of Jesus. Yung mga lame, yung mga pilay na kakalala, to walk, and the blind will be able to see. In fact, he even raised uh, somebody from the dead. He failed to recognize Jesus from the prophets, from the what the prophets spoke about him. About, about him. Why did they fail to recognize him? Because the religious authorities were blinded by their own success. They were the ones ruling the people. They were the ones that held sway over the over the over the, the land. And for them, Jesus was a one. Was you have anybody to be this For them, Jesus was a competition. You know, who is this? Who is this rabbi? Where did he come from? Who 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 did he come from? Jesus grew up in Nazareth, in a place called Galilee. So what good can come out of Galilee? Galilee was an area near the Samaritans, near Samaria. So para sa kanila, pwede manggaling din yung Messiah. The Messiah will have to come from the kingdom of David, uh, from the, uh, the, the hometown of David. He must come from Bethlehem, because Bethlehem is the hometown of David. And if he is the son of David, then he should have come from Bethlehem. But no. Jesus, Jesus what, grew up in... If he was born in Bethlehem, Bethlehem, why did he grow up in Nazareth? Because that's when the, the, the prophet says to fulfill the, I know the prophet. To avoid the Herod. Avoid the Herod. Being the first born child. He would answer, he would answer. Fled from the land. He would answer, he would answer. Fled from the land. And then, when Herod died, he would answer. The angel told uh, St. Joseph to take, back to take the child and, uh, and the mother back to uh, uh, Judah. And then on the way there, what did he do? He went to San Jose, he ended up in Nazareth. What happened? Why did they end up in Nazareth and not in Bethlehem on the way back? Ah, yung ano, yung bilangan, nag-nocensus, yun ba? Okay, that is what happened. And that is the conclusion. He, he went and dwelt in a town called, called Nazareth so that what had been spoken to the prophets and people oh, yeah. it shall be called uh, Nazareth. Yeah. Okay, where do you find that in the Old Testament? Na, 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 parang Isaiah. Very tradition, na. Yeah, it's not found in the Old Testament writings. It's an oral, oral tradition. tradition. But why did Saint Joseph? Kaya not not everything is written. Oh, ito oral, but ito that is an oral tradition. He went out and dwelt in a town called Nazareth, so that what had been spoken through the prophet. Sino prophet ay ano? Prophets, malaming prophets. Malaming. Why don't you say? Why don't you have that in Isaiah or Jeremiah or Daniel or Ezekiel or Matthew? Why did the Why did Elijah or Nathan or Elisha not mention it? Elijah, di ba? Malaming prophets sa Israel. Yeah, pero ano yung one that said that was the first prophet? No, nobody, nobody can tell which prophet, but it was said by the prophets. 
That is where the oral tradition is very important in understanding the Bible. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible was written out of the oral tradition. It didn't mean to say that Moses wrote the first five books of the Bible, maybe may flu machatas, may papel, okay, may word processor, computer, typewriter, or no, that's all oral. And then later on, all those were taken taken down in writing. Is it that like the story? Yeah, the story is the story. Yeah, the story is the Anderson's fairy tales. Hans Christian Anderson, the fairy tales. Oh, yeah. Brothers Grimm, the fairy tales. The Brothers Grimm went around Germany collecting, they were writing down all this folklore, all these fairy tales. Hindi naman sila yung author mo. Or si Kalekta, si Bernardo Carpio, sinisimulat mo. That's a coral tradition in the world. This really is done about the fairy tales. Oh, yeah, kwento kwento. Homer, Ida Ilya. So even here in the in the in the history of the people of God, all these uh, traditions were well, written down eventually. Even the uh, prophet Elijah and Elisha, they did not write anything, but some of their uh, what they did was recorded by it in the in, in the book of uh, Samuel and also in Kings. The book of Samuel. Everything, everything there is yeah. the book that inspired. Yeah, it's by, it's by the Samuel. Samuel. Yeah, Samuel. There's a literal Samuel. sense. The way the author the meant book. it to be. And then there's the spiritual sense. Like when? Samuel and Kings. That was originally one book. You know? 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel, 1 Kings, 2 Kings. It was just one scroll. Oh, may nanghapag daw. Pero, yun, mahaba. Ang haba, may pinutul nila. Yun naman tayo. Yes, remember all the kings and the descendants and all the... What? Chronicle. Jesus. It's a story. Dami-dami mong kings. I just to figure out the heritage, you know, until it gets a day. So Jesus said, uh, the, have you never read in the scriptures, the name, the stone rejected, the builders rejected and become the foreigner stone? By the Lord, has, by the Lord has this been done and it is wonderful in our eyes. So, Jesus now quotes Psalm 118. So, Psalm 118. Given to people that will produce its fruit. So what happens? That is exactly what happens. <coughs> The kingdom of God is fulfilled in the apostles, in the new, in the new Israel. The ones that will produce good fruit, and these are the people who hear the word of God and act on it. It was having just when praying on blessed the day who had uh, believed and acted on that. Yes. Brother, blessed are they who hear. And then come here. My brothers and my sisters are they who hear the word of God. I have my brothers and my sisters. In other words, the relationship with God in the family of God is not by bloodlines. It is by, by uh, belief in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the uh, and, uh, church founder. Therefore, I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to the people that will produce it. But he's addressing him, huh? Parang yung pagbigay din niya ng talent sa mga 
for this five thousand parents mga yung kung sino yung makapagsudus mo doon na ibibigay ang mas malaki ah uh, yung dun sa walang na ano kinuha niya wala naman sila pinaduce ito mga ito they're supposed to make life easy while bring them closer to them but what were they doing? they were doing business on the time but those who heard because and who executed what they heard because it's in the temple naman they, the business in the temple and the money changers yeah, they were all related to the the priests wow. of that time mga pamilya nila sila mga tita na Kasi yung Espanyol. Kasi yung Espanyol. Kasi yung Espanyol. Kasi yung Espanyol. Last word. Okay. Okay. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom of God, the Lord, be not a precious of his name. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive us our trespasses.